welcome back to my channel, you guys. So I'm excited about this week's coaching video because this week I'm going to be talking to you about five ways to stop being average. And you might be thinking, but Michelle, I love being average. And you might. But you know what? I want to give you something else to think about because you don't want to live your whole life just being average, you guys. So let's just jump right on in. So number one, retrain your brain. And the power of belief is staggering. That can be both good and it can be bad. If you believe you're average, you will inevitably remain average. And that's just the way it is, you guys. If you What you believe is what you have, okay? So, But if you believe that you can be great, doors will start to open. Put some effort in, into convincing yourself that you're not just another average person. I am not just another average person and neither are you. So you want to convince yourself that being average is a limit you impose on yourself. See, nobody told you you were average. You said you were. You act average, and that's the way people see you. And keep reminding yourself that you are limitless. The next thing you should be doing to, to be more average is number two, attract what you want. And here's a quote that says, what you seek is seeking you. I love that. So the best case scenario is for what you're after to come to you. Success is extremely attractive. So one of the best ways to attract what you want is by demonstrating your success. Prove to everyone who meets you that you fall in the above average category. If you want someone to consider you for your dream job, make it a point to show them why you're the person that they've been dreaming of for that job. The smartest, simplest way to do that is to always put in your best effort. Always. Never settle for second best. Always put in your best effort. See, sometimes people will say, oh, girl, she's doing all that work and they're not even promoting her. That's all right, because I guarantee you management is looking. But not even just in, in the workforce, just in your everyday life. Always strive to be above average. Average says I'm settling a average a average says I'm settling for just this. But why settle for this when you got the whole world at your disposal? Number three, really do the work. And Anne Frank says laziness may appear attractive, but work gives satisfaction. So being average can often equate to being, well, lazy. Let's just keep it real, right? If you know you can accomplish more, but choose not to exhort real effort and rise above your peers, the shoe most definitely fits you because it certainly doesn't fit me. You may not get fired from your job, but you sure aren't getting that big promotion. And I just said that a few minutes ago, didn't I? If you're only making a minimal effort, you will only find minimal success. Let me say that again. If you are only making the minimal effort, you will only find minimal success. That is so true. That is absolutely true. And that's why a lot of us only have minimal success because that's we just put in minimal effort, right? To get further in life, you need to really put in the work. If you decide things are good enough, you will quickly find yourself becoming stagnant. If you keep telling yourself that you can do better, you will become better. But there are people trying to become more than average, too. So you have to work twice as hard, sometimes three times as hard, because you're not the only one out there that's trying to be better than average, right? Number four, harder, better, faster, stronger. And Albert Einstein says it best. You have to learn the rules of the game, and then you have to play better than anyone else. Be better than your peers by engage, by being engaged in what you're doing. Eliminate all distractions by finding a calm environment. Carve out a place for yourself that is free from the regular demands of your daily life so that you can just do the work. The best thing you can do is find somewhere quiet. But even if you're working in a chaotic atmosphere, you can tune everything else out and all you have to do is put in your earbuds. I don't know about y'all, but I keep two pair in my purse, okay? I don't play around. Because sometimes I need, even at work, I need that time to really focus on what I'm doing and not be distracted. So I'll put my music in. It's not up too loud, but the, the music serves as just background noise. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really listening to the music, but I can, I know that it's playing, but I'm not listening to it. But that's how I'm able to just drown out everything around me. And number five, don't be forgotten. This is so powerful, you guys. Don't be forgotten. And Evita 
Perrin says, my biggest fear in life is to be forgotten. Average can also mean invisible. More times than not, average does mean invisible. So if all, if you only do what is asked of you, there's no reason for people not to forget you. People will remember you if what you do is memorable. So produce work of such a high quality that there's no way it or you can be forgotten. One trick is to make sure what you offer is distinct from what everybody else does. Find a way to produce things that are truly unique. You can't be average if you're original. See, original people aren't average. Now, let me go back a few minutes because I, when as I was reading the part about um, if you only do what is asked of you, there's no reason for people not to forget you and people remember you if what you do is memorable. Let me stop right there. A few years ago, I was in the grocery store, right? And I saw this guy in there. And you know how people look at you because they... they they know you, but they don't really know you. So this guy saw him kind of looking right. So you know me. I'm, I'm giving a stink eye like, you know what? Don't don't even try because I don't want to be bothered. I'm in here to get what I need to get and get out. Well, eventually he comes over and he says, hey, how are you? I said, I'm wonderful. How are you? Just like this. Just, just look on my face. Like, you know, really, how are you? And so he said, uh, I thought that was you. I said, I thought that was me. You know me? And he said, yeah, we go to the same gym. And I kind of felt bad, not really, but I kind of felt bad when I had to say, I don't think I've ever seen you at, at and I was at World Gym at the time. And I said, well, I don't think I've ever seen you at the, at the gym before. He said, you haven't? And, and the way he said it was like, well, what do you mean you haven't seen me at the gym? No, I said, I don't recall ever seeing you there. So you see how in that very instance, and in that, that very um, moment, you know, I, and I lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was getting ready to say. But anyway, what I was trying to say was that is a perfect example of someone that didn't forget me. But clearly, I never even noticed him. You know, and I did apologize. But hey, I just, I just had never noticed him there. And he says, yep, I see you training all the time. He said, you know, you're very strong. You work out with the big, strong guy and another guy and a, and a young lady with dreads. And I said, yeah, that's my team. You know, I power lift. And he was like, oh, wow, I didn't know that. I said, yeah. So I'm not just in the, in the gym taking up space. I actually am training for something. And, um, but the, the, the thing I want to press upon you is that he remembered me. I, and then after I saw, the next time I saw him in the gym, y'all, he was mean mugging like I don't know what. Like, you know what, really? How's she going to say she didn't remember me? No, I didn't. There was nothing unique about you that made me remember you. It just wasn't. But when I saw, the next time I saw him at the gym, I passed cross, you know, and I spoke and he spoke. He wasn't as animated as he was the first time I met him. It's probably because I said I didn't remember him. But when I saw his face, I thought, oh, you know what? I think I may have seen him in the gym before. But again, he had done nothing that was so memorable that I just couldn't forget, you know, who he was or forget having seen him. So that was just a perfect example of not letting people forget about you. And because let's face it, who doesn't want to be for I don't need. Let me say this. I'm not an, an, an attention whore or attention seeker. That That's not me at all. But it's always a great thing when somebody walks up to you because they remember seeing a video that you did on that I posted on YouTube. And I've had that happen three different times. Or they remember you like this gentleman in the store because he's seen me in the gym working out. It's always a great feeling when people appreciate what you do and they, and they remember you. So what I'm saying is if I were an average person... Nobody would remember me. I mean, you know, outside of my circle of, of influence, but outside of that, people wouldn't just remember me because there would be nothing unique or special about me for them to remember. So let's do a quick recap and I'm going to let you be. So in order to stop being average, number one, you need to retrain your brain, you guys. Stop thinking that you have to be average because you don't. Number two, attract what you want. What you seek is seeking you. Okay, number three, really do the work. Stop looking to be lazy because as Anne Frank says, laziness may appear attractive, but work gives satisfaction. So really get out there and do the work. Give somebody, give some, give people something to remember you by. Do the work. Number four, harder, better, faster, and stronger. Albert Einstein says you have to learn the rules of the game and then you have to play better than anybody else. 
got to do that because that helps you to stand out. And last but not least, don't be forgotten. Do not be forgotten. And I'm, I know that a lot, actually all of you, I'm going to say this. I know all of you are very unique and very special in some way, shape, or form. So you have no business allowing people to forget who you are. Okay, that's all I have for this week. Thank you so much for my newest subscribers. Thank you so much for those of you that continue to support me every week. I love you guys to the moon and back. And I want you to work on today, starting today, you guys. You know my model. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, and not next year. But today, start working on not being forgotten. Stop wor Start working on being above average because there's so much more to you i i believe it i do believe it and i i've not met many of you but i do believe that there's so much more to you than what you show the world and what you you know show yourself so hey stand out there and let your star shine nobody's gonna toot your horn for you but you so until next week love you guys we'll talk again soon <laughs>